anything. Yeah, flashy running game's awesome. <laughs> Joining us now in Studio B is a flashy defender for <laughs> BYU, you Micah Hanneman, and I mean that sincerely, uh, who has now moved from defensive back to safety permanently. Micah, welcome to Studio B. Thank you. Yeah. What, what took you so long to get in here, man? <laughs> oh, no, finally <laughs> started getting noticed, I guess. <laughs> we, we finally invited you. I think that's yeah. what happened, yeah. Okay, yeah. is Jamal Williams – a, more of a flashy running back or physical running back? Um, I'm just going to meet in the middle in the same <laughs> boat. <laughs> His first invite is yeah. afraid to tick one of us off. Yeah. Just maybe a little bit of both, according to Micah Hanneman. Yeah, I would say he's both for sure. Okay. He's strong. We're asking our BYU Sports Nation fans which player brings the most value to this team. And I know that's a tough question for you to answer because you look at all your teammates, I'm sure, and think, oh, he plays a huge role and he plays yeah. a huge role. But we're going to ask you the question anyway. So throw some people under the bus, man. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the MVP of this team? Shoot. I don't know. That's obviously hard. I want to say there's like one person. But since I'm a defensive player, I'll have to throw some defensive names out. But um, Travis Tuoloma, he's like if you notice the difference between when he was playing nose tackle in our games between when he's not, there's a huge difference. So – like, if you can control the line up there as defensive lineman, then it changes the game a lot. So, like, he he dominates on defense. Like, he really does. He doesn't know how good he is either. He, he dominates people. You're not alone in I thinking know. that. We've seen a number of yeah. tweets yeah. in favor of Travis Tuiloma because yeah. of the, the point that you, that you just mentioned, and that is – the difference of when he was not healthy and not playing last yeah. year. Yeah, and and it's not a sexy choice for sure, although Travis Tuiloma is sexy in his own way, right? But it's like in basketball saying that a shot blocker is the MVP, right? When he's not in there, the rim's not protected, yeah. look, right? Like certain part of that. And against Nebraska, we saw that. But uh, unfortunately against Utah, he got hurt. What's what's his situation, by the way? Is he gonna, Do you know? Is he going to be ready for the year or is it? Yeah, I think he's going to be ready for the year. Was it Liz Frank as well for him? I'm trying um, to remember what I'm not was. sure, to be honest. A foot but yeah, it was a foot injury. Okay. Yeah. What are you doing yeah. right now with your life after spring ball? <laughs> what happens in the day of Micah Hanneman? <laughs> I actually have a pretty busy school schedule. I'm taking eight credits throughout the spring, summer. Eight? Why, did, why did you do that to yourself? <laughs> so I'm trying to, I didn't redshirt as a freshman, so I'm trying to graduate in December of next year, 2017. You need to mm. calm down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> eight? Okay, six <laughs> is like a lot, right? That's like full time spring student. You're taking eight. So how do, how do you manage uh, s spring? Because you want to you wanna still work out. You still want to stay in tip-top shape and all that. But yet you have a lot of academics to mm -hmm. take care of, right? Yeah. So just I, I go for getting okay grades, <laughs> 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 which I'm, me, I'm satisfied with getting okay grades, not A's, but not failing my classes. So, But, yeah, so I do that. I'm working part-time. Then we have our workouts every morning which is nice to start it up. You're a busy dude, just man. You, what, what's your, what's your part-time job? Um, I work at a detention center in Provo. Mm. Doing what? Part of my major. I'm a sociology major. So oh, I'm okay. Yeah. I'm a, just a counselor. So just make sure the kids do what they're supposed to be doing and just talk to them. Very cool. Help them out. Yeah. Make yeah. sure the freshmen do what they're doing on the football field. Yeah. When you come to practice. <laughs> don't well. live a flashy don't, life. Don't mess live it a, up. Uh, Regular life. Yeah. Micah Hanneman joining us in <laughs> Studio B, BYU football safety. Uh, we are talking about spring ball currently, and let's go here, Micah. When you first heard about the coaching staff change and then first saw, like, uh, the difference that they brought in, what, w what was the, th the thing that kind of jumped out to you? We were like, wow, this, this is different. Yeah. I would say the, the biggest difference would be that they're all – basically former players at BYU, which BYU is a lot different school to play at than other schools in college football. So just that they understand what we are hearing every day in class, what we're going through, the places that we're at, the people that we're around, the, the other college students and stuff like that. And being able to work more player friendly, I guess, with our, our football schedule and the way that they, they run the football meetings and stuff like that, which is cool. And just like, to have someone that understands like exactly because they really do they know exactly that because they, they all played here so they know exactly what we're going through right now so it's like it's good to to have that how has the defense changed the defense is a lot more just man-to-man -man athletes they they just they cut well they didn't cut but they we moved 
a lot of people, like fast people around to our defensive backs, same with linebackers, so that we can just cover people man to man, and which helps a lot. Like, I think our best games last year was when we played the most man to man. So if that's like our base defense, then I think that we'll have a great defense this year. What games were those? Um, well, the second half of the Michigan game, and we, because the first half we we're trying to run all these fancy calls, but then the second half, like, let's just play man. So that game, the the games against um, Boise, where we just played lots of man. Um, even UCLA, we were playing a lot of man, even though we lost, we still did pretty decently defensively, but yeah. Talking with BYU safety Micah Hanneman on BYU Sports Nation. How difficult was it for you to make a position switch from defensive back to safety? Um, safety is my natural position, so hmm. it was actually really hard making the switch from safety to corner this past year. So if that answers your question, but yeah, corner, <laughs> corner is a hard position to play. So it was, it was great going. Yeah, back. it was great going back to safety and feel a lot comfortable at safety and get to put back on some weight that that I took off to to be faster. How much which weight I'm still did you fat. have to shed? Uh, well, I didn't have to shed that much, but I was just trying to get faster. So I shed like five or in between five and ten pounds hmm. before the season just to keep up with people, but. Let's talk about the secondary because I, I see a lot of experience that comes back um, and then you get moved to safety. Uh, Michael Wadsworth, you know, graduates and there's an opportunity there. W what's what's the secondary going to be like next year with all those guys? There's there's some yeah. good depth. I think. Oh, yeah, there's great depth. Me, Kai, Eric Takanaka is another safety who's going to do really good. Matt Hadley has experience. Um, Mike Davis is probably – he's definitely the best corner from last year. He just locks people down. Teams are afraid to throw his way, and then the the only person that's not coming back who's turning starter is then the, the next corner. So we'll find out who that is. But there's a lot of good good players that that are there. So and one of those guys is Troy Warner. I know Michael Shelton comes back. Tell us about Troy. What he he ran with the ones quite a bit in spring. How good is Troy Warner? Yeah, he's super athletic, very athletic. He can play you know receiver. He can play safety if you want to do corner. Obviously, there's a huge difference between um, high school and college, no matter where you play in high school. But I think he's going to be a good, definitely a good corner here. You've got a new position coach, Gennaro Guilford, who played at BYU, yeah. has one of the more memorable highlights in BYU football history. In that it's tough to have a defensive highlight that sticks oh, in man. BYU history. Everybody has one of remembers them, right? the interception in 2001 it's unfortunate it's that way, but that's to seal way. that game. What is Gennaro Guilford like as a position coach? So he's actually the corners position coach. Oh, okay. But I still we still work with him a lot. Coach Lamb is our oh, safety so you work position with that coach. Lamb. Yeah. Okay. But Gennaro is awesome. He coached my brother at SUU, Southern Utah University. Mm. So I kind of already knew him before he came. Same with Coach Lamb. And he he's just a, he's a good dude. Also can relate to the players a lot more than than previously. And then it's cool to have two position coaches because it used to be just be one position coach for the safeties and corners. So now it's separated, which means a lot more one-on-one -on -one and a lot more position mastery, which is really cool. So, We've been told that uh, in practice, you guys spend a lot of time running drills, and it used to be like, okay, we're going to run things fast, we're going to go through it, we're going to move on to the next thing. That you stop and you slow down and you go over technique a lot and that kind of thing. Is that is that the case? And yeah. And what's the difference in practice? Yeah, I think that I think it was probably mostly because we were switching a completely different defense with different techniques. So they needed a lot more teaching time to l slow down practice. So hopefully we have it down enough now so that in the fall we can get a good mix of both of like slowing it down, working on technique, and then plus getting a lot of repetitions at it. But yeah, it's, it's nice like learning a new technique and that's important for, for us to have time not to just speed through practice and then it's over and then you don't know what, what to happened? work on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. What do we just so, work on again? Yeah. yeah we'll finish nice. with this. Uh, your brother Jacob playing double-A ball in the Chicago Cubs organization. Yeah. Dave, to Dave McCann's delight because the Chicago <laughs> Cubs are 25 and 6 right now. Uh, how much interaction do you do you have with him when he's in his busy season with baseball and, and you playing football and whatnot? Yeah, well, we definitely don't see each other face-to-face -face a lot, but – because they have games. I think they only have two days off a month where they don't have a game. So that's not even practice. It's just they don't have a game two days out of a month, which is crazy. But it's fun because we get to watch them a lot. They have it streamed online, so we watch it a lot. My dad's his number one fan, obviously. But Jacob, 
we were super close. We were both freshmen here at the same time because he returned from his mission the same time I was graduating. So we both were freshmen. He was on the football team here at first. So that was, I have a really good relationship with Jacob, and, like, he helps me. And and I played baseball, too, so I could help him <laughs> a little bit. He's really obviously better than me at baseball. But, yeah, I have a good relationship with Jacob and his wife. And he hit a home run Monday. Yeah, he he's hit, homer, he's hit like, double the amount that he hit last season right. in a couple of weeks. So he's doing good. I just hope he bought you something nice with a signing bonus. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was on my mission, so I was just like, yeah, send me, like, uh, some socks and <laughs> some ties. You need to so, ask for more than socks, yeah, man. Yeah, exactly. It's like every, every former uh, LDS missionary is like, yeah, that cool thing happened while I was gone. Yeah. Dang it. Micah, great to have you in Studio B. We're going to have you sign our uh, Stretch Y flag before you go. 